hi welcome so in this video we'll pull in the data from our google analytics dashboard into our app okay so for some reason you want all of these data to show in your app rather than going into uh, google analytics dashboard and seeing all of this okay so in order to do that we'll use a package called this special Laravel analytics okay so let's first install it so I'll copy this command and okay I'll paste that command and just wait for it to install okay once that is downloaded okay you notice here once it failed and then again it downloaded okay so next step is to insert that into your provider so I'll just copy this line and go to your project okay inside config F so here provider I'll add this right below this or you can uh, add here package service provider okay so save it next step is to add the alias so I will add that below here okay so next step is to I'll copy that into my git pass okay what's the name so laravel analytics.php here so this is our config so if you go to documentation it is telling you uh, how to get these all stuff so so one thing you need to allow your app to use this Google Analytics okay so so first you need to get credentials okay so in order to do that just go to this link or your Google developer console while you uh, where you'll create a new project and uh, you allow or enable the Google Analytics API okay so let's do that so here in the developer console just uh, if you haven't created any projects so I've already these projects so first time just create a new project so here name it anything Google Analytics or just name of your website whatever that might be okay so just create okay so once that project is created you can see name here so so here you you have to decide which API you want to use you can search for analytics here or you can choose from here this API analytics API we need to enable this so click here enable it okay so once that is enabled you have to get credentials you can go to credential from here or from here so we need actually we need service account so you can go directly here or cancel it and from here you can choose service account okay so credentials if that screen comes cancel it and create credentials and here service account key okay so here um, new service account and service account name uh, Google so you can just specify here its project so who is using that if you are owner okay so like that and key type JSON and create so Google need to identify who is making request okay so that JSON get downloaded here so so in folders okay so here just uh, rename it something okay so copy it from there and save it inside some location in your 
okay actually we need to um, save in, in the specified location by this package okay so so if you see in the the config file here okay Laravel Analytics so we need to save that inside this location okay so let's do that let's create new folder named Laravel there okay where is that Laravel Analytics so like see this so service account credentials Okay, so rename that enter. Okay, so next step is to so we uh, got the key. Now we need to uh, grant the permission to analytics property. Okay, so go to user management in admin section. So here in our dashboard. Let's go to the admin and in here user management. So we need to specify here permission. So whatever is inside this our this service account credentials. Okay, so client email. Just use this Google Analytics over here. Okay. So just add that. Okay, so next step is to get the view ID. So we'll get that view ID, view settings over here. So this is the view ID. We need to configure that inside our the config folder of the package. So here so currently it is taking from the environment variable so analytics view id okay so that part done okay so let's go to web.php so i will just show by making like route okay so you might want to put this code inside your controller so uh, let's make this data and function So here so if you want to get the data okay so visitor and page views for last seven days just use this function okay like so okay I'll just copy this out and paste it here so now we should get the analytics data okay so for period of seven days so uh, yeah like this so one thing we need to use this since we are using this period we need to use that so it is already telling you up here I think yeah so I have the, the shortcut F5 will automatically import that okay so uh, if you are wondering how I did that so install PSP companion so that will let you do so I have video for that in my channel okay so now we are getting the page view okay visitors and page views so yeah let's see what this data is so i will die dump it what is that so die dump um, analytics data so let's see what type of data is coming okay so let's hit that data route here okay so Data. Okay, so invalid configuration couldn't find credential file at. All right, so this is the problem. So I'm using the different this a uh, local host like this uh, virtual host. Okay, so and that got me into this problem. So in order to get out of this problem, what? Uh, we need to do is we need to use uh, helpers right so I think this storage path is causing problems so we'll use app path ok 
okay so app path and then laravel and this one okay so now that should fix the problem all right so that fixed it and we are getting the data like this okay so this is the data of last seven days okay so page views 3 visitors 1 so I get this uh, two arrays for different page title okay so like this okay so now we are getting the data like this and you can use this data to uh, display anywhere in your dashboard okay so so I'm not making full app okay so so for example you want to get the data for this page title okay so you can just access the this like you do in normal object so at the moment we are getting the uh, two arrays okay so for example if you want to access the page views of the first array okay so like with this page title you can do like this okay so first access that array and then this one that's easy stuff right so let's refresh that and you get the full okay so once you get the data you can manipulate this okay so look around uh, in this package you can you get more function like top browsers okay so let's try that out if you want to know the most visited or that browsers you need to just do like so and dump that data okay so firefox three sessions and chrome one sessions okay hope you got the idea and play around with this and experiment this is how you learn this is it bye